So I don't see why that 96 wasn't 100. Well, well, there's been a lot to study for the semester. How long did you study? <sighs> um, Hours? I'm not, not sure. No, no, I, I did study and... Don't I lie. From playing Teen Jane in Jane the Virgin to lowrider opposite uh, Eva Longoria, Monty Hernandez now stars in what I would call a deadly kind of scary thriller movie called Student Body. Monty, nice to have you with us. Welcome. Yeah, thank you for having me. All right, so I saw the trailer. There are two kinds of people, Jane. <laughs> Fiddle people, camera people. And it's my job to make you pick up the hammer. Okay, it's really scary. Scary stuff. <laughs> Tell me how you felt doing that film. <laughs> I had so much fun. I had, horror is my favorite genre. So I was having a blast, you know, with all the blood, you know, no spoilers uh, and being in like dark rooms. I, I just loved it. I loved it. I know it sounds crazy, but I had a great time. <laughs> yeah, well, it's interesting because uh, not to give away any of the plot, but uh -huh. but you're a student in this in this school yeah. and, and you're kind of locked into this battle with this crazy person, right? Just <laughs> a typical horror genre. Yeah, it was interesting because I didn't I never thought that I'd ever find a school mascot scary <laughs> <laughs> it's just so strange but it worked and I was I was so freaked out by <laughs> the costume the school mascots <laughs> stares you down like this and you go oh yeah that's, I'm that's like this crazy. is actually kind of unsettling yeah so tell me what are the challenges to to kind of get your game up to do these roles I'm trusting my instincts 100 percent that's the biggest thing I learned, you know, being on set, you know, when I was younger, I would always kind of question myself and doubt myself. And as I got older and as I'm continuing to grow as an artist, um, the biggest thing I tell myself is like, no, like trust your gut, trust your instincts and to breathe. Breathing is so important. <laughs> tell me about being a, a Latina actress in Hollywood. What are the opportunities? What are, are doors opening now for you that, that perhaps people like Eva have opened and, and Salma mm -hmm. Hayek and others who have come before you have opened those doors? Do you find it that now you're they're accepting you more uh, in roles other than just playing a Latina? Mm -hmm. um, I would say yes and no. I feel like we still have a long way to go, but Jane Shipley is definitely an example of, of being able to play something outside of just a Latina. You know, uh, Jane's character, She's she's just a high school student. Like she, we don't make it clear that she's Latina or specifically Mexican American. Uh, she's she's just a high school student going through it, and that's what I love about it. You know, it wasn't. I was talking to the director about it, and I was honest with her. I was like, I didn't think I'd book this because, I mean, Jane Shipley. Like, come on, <laughs> <laughs> come on. Yeah. And she was like, No. For me, as a director, I was just looking at you know who was able to bring that character to life regardless of who they were and i really appreciated that and that gave me some kind of hope and and uh it was just really inspiring to me because it made me believe I, I know i can play whatever um but just hearing that from a director i was like ah oh, that's great okay we are moving forward and these great women like eva salma you know they have paved the way and it, even younger uh actresses too like Paulina Chavez mm -hmm. and you know all these incredible women like I just I'm really happy that you know we're, we're moving forward together. Yeah, it's a huge it's a huge leap forward actually and I, and I commend you for it because that that really means that talent rises and talent really shows and they appreciate that and, and you're able to get these roles and I think that's terrific. Yeah, me too. I think it's great. <laughs> I think so, it's great. <laughs> yeah, so I know that you love to sing and dance. So when are you going to do a singing and dancing kind of role? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> casting and directing got to tell me. I'm ready. <laughs> You're ready, ready to do. So, what's? Tell me about your favorite music. What is your favorite kind of music? Uh, rock in Espanol. To um. <laughs> um, rock in uh, Espanol. Okay. Yes. Yes. Your top, like, your, ta your top bands are Mana. Who? Who else? Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. Mana, Soe, okay, uh, Enanitos Verdes, uh, Soda Stereo, all of them. Ah, the Tacuba, okay. like yeah. I remember when Mana came on the scene the first time and I thought, wow, these guys are amazing. <laughs> but nobody knew who they were. And then suddenly they popped on the scene and, and they, they became huge in America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's funny because um, before COVID, when I would go out with like my family and friends uh, and we'd go to like places where they would play rock in Espanol, mm -hmm. a lot of like the older folks would be like, how do you even know these songs? <laughs> <laughs> 
like uh, my mom, my my uncles, my aunts. Like it's just you know it's something that we all grow up with. It's called being a fan, absolutely. So super fan. Super so fan. so how different is it living in Los Angeles than living in Dallas? It's got to be a, a quantum leap. It's so different, so different. I I love both, you know. I, I prefer LA because um, <laughs> we have the beach and mountains, and I love all that. Yeah. But, but I will say I do love the food in Texas more. That's the one thing I miss. I love the food in Texas. It's I go along with that. I go yeah. along with that. But yeah, the Texas food is amazing. Okay. All it's right. Awesome. So one last thing I want to talk to you about, and that that's video yeah. games. You're, you 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 love video games. I you do. actually have. Tell me about you participated in some projects that involve voiceover work and that kind of tech, technical stuff as a director and also as, as an yeah, actor. Tell yeah. me about that. Yeah, uh, so I booked my first um, series regular on The Voice on Ben 10 mm -hmm. uh, when I was 15. I was on that for like ever. Wow. And, uh, and, then, and then, you know, Last Kids on Earth, which won an Emmy. And I was just like, yes, it's, it's so Congratulations. good. Congratulations. Everyone, thank you. Yeah, the whole team is amazing. Um, and then I did the video game, which is League of Legends. And that was so fun because I mean, my brother and I, like we're always playing video games. That's huge. Yeah. And it's it's so, you know, my brother, he's obsessed with it. So when I told him, he was freaking out. Um, and that was a lot of fun. And, and I did with that experience, you know, I've always loved animation. Um, and I'm working on a project that is animated, something I wrote. Um, and I decided, you know, to do kind of like a mini animatic for it to kind of just get a feel, like see where I'm, I'm going. Uh -huh. And a lot of incredible voice actors uh, voiced some of my characters for me. You had Max Middleman, Todd Habercorn, uh, David Kay. Oh my gosh, I love all of them. You, oh my gosh, <laughs> I yeah. could like run forever about them. Uh, and I'm so grateful that they're, they're awesome. So hopefully we'll be seeing that soon. That is so cool. That is very, very cool. Well, you've got you've got a great future and you're doing some tremendous projects. This film is called Student Body. I will tell you the trailer scared me to death. I don't know, <laughs> but you, you play Jane in that as well. Jane Shipley, it's so great to talk with you. Estoy muy orgullosa de ti. Oh, thank you. Muchísimas gracias. <laughs> Very proud. It's great to speak with you, and I look forward to many more things and many more times to get a chance to visit with you. Thank Muchas you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you.